In this example, we want to look at ways that we can improve our website's performance. I have here in Photoshop a very simple graphic, uh, few colors, not much. And I want to see that some different ways of saving and see how we can work on optimizing our information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a file. I'm just going to do a simple save as. Go into my graphic test, and I'm going to save it as PNG. And we're going to specify it as the one that was used as a save as. No interlacing. Uh, interlacing will actually make it, the file size a little bit larger. So no interlacing. Say save. And now if I look at my file, I have about a 14K PNG. Not bad. But can we get any better? So I'm going to go file and choose save for web and devices. I'm going to pick the JPEG option. Using a high quality, it's 60% uh, quality. It's showing to be about 18K. Let's see if we can make that like a medium quality. Medium quality can still read the text, although it's starting to get a little bit distorted. I'll bump up the quality about 45%. Let's look at some other options. Instead of a JPEG, let's look at a PNG. Choose a PNG 24. I finally try to save this as a PNG 8 bit. If I look at 32 colors, you'll notice I don't have any real difference in how I look. I got a couple of slight variation differences, but hardly any at all that you can really tell. If I really needed that locked down, I could go a little bit higher. So I'm going to choose save. And now let's take a look at my different file sizes. So with my graph as a regular PNG just doing a save as, it's 14K, which is still smaller than my medium quality JPEG, which is good. But if I look at a graph as a when I do a save for web and devices, even at 24 bits, I'm at 11K, which is still 3K smaller than my regular save as. And I don't even have the option with the save as to even try an 8-bit, but here you can see with 32 colors, very little color difference, I'm at 4K. If I do a quick check, I can see it's the same as approximately 71.5% over my regular save as. So a quick way to save some information is when you're saving it, check to see if you do a save as web, and you can look at really reducing your file sizes that way.